Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to remove micro capacitors and resistors from motherboard, okay, or integrated circuit board. This one is going to be thrown away, so I decided hmm, there's a lot of parts that I might want, like especially the uh, micro resistors, which I can hook up to LED lights to make it work properly. Remember, LED light you can hook directly to a lithium battery because of the high current it can actually um, shorten the life of an LED light in fact it might even just blow up right away so you make sure you put in the resistors into the circuit and allow the low current to run through the LED light because that's all it needs um, and then it works well okay so we need to remove some of these micro capacitor and resistors and even integrated chips how do you do that well I have two tools one if you want to be more specific uh, if you want to move individual uh, resistor and capacitors and integrate chip then you use this butane soldering gun which works pretty well the only thing of course uh, you only do one um, chip at a time the other one of course is this micro butane torch this one works really well but only works with um, micro resistors and capacitors uh, other thing that's made of plastic um, will be uh, burnt or melt away so it's not good for other um, integrated chips but for micro capacitors and resistor this is the way to go because it's really fast you heat it up and you just pull it out it's that just, just just slide it out slide out and it's much much faster okay so if that's all you care about is getting out the micro resistors and capacitors that's where you want to go with look you can see look at how much I have wow all the chips and resistor and capacitor that I collected. I didn't want to waste any of them. And they are quite small, some of them. Look at that. This is tiny. This is a um, capacitor, one of them there. Let's put it back here. And this one is a resistor. And you can't even see the writing. This is actually a very tiny writing. I would need a magnifying glasses just to see it. And I can make a you know very tiny number there telling me what type of resistor it is so I can use it in my circuits but there we go uh, let me show you now how to remove them okay. and wait till the element should be glowing there we go it's glowing now yeah it's glowing and let's see what I can get Very tiny. Mm, really tiny. I can see that. It's really tiny. It's so tiny. That okay? I can see that. I can see that. But it is a gem. Make sure you wear safety glasses when you do this. And even maybe a face mask. I don't know. I didn't. I don't do it, but some people do. But anyway, wow! Look at that. Lots of stuff. I love the uh, the resistor. This is actually quite fun, guys. Okay, there's another way to remove the micro capacitor or resistor on your motherboard. One way is to use the butane torch. Now the, the met, this method of course um, can ruin other chips or integrated chips along the uh, motherboard. If you don't care so much about other chips, um, especially chips that contains uh, plastics um, and it has low temperature melting point, uh, then it won't work. But uh, micro capacitor or the resistors, uh, if you want to get, just get those out, then this is probably the best way to do it because what you do is you heat up the motherboard and put in the location where the um, cap the capacitor and the resistor the micro resistors are located just heat it up for like maybe about less than 30 seconds and then what you do is just pull it out see and you just slide see it slides out very easy you see this one there I just got and here's another one see so easy okay it just melts away 
be it's so easy oops see when it's plastic that's the problem you, you it's, um it's gonna burn the plastic so just be aware of that but if you're just like for me all I care is about is the micro resistor or cap micro uh, capacitors and I were able to retrieve that really quickly with not a problem just just make sure you heat it quickly there we go I got the only thing if there's a plastic it will melt and the smell is pretty bad okay. so that's another way to do this it works well it's actually faster than just using a butane soldering iron or gun that's fast see that super fast just slides right off yeah see it's really fast look at that come right out see perfect